guys, so um, apologies for like the messy desk. My desk is, you know, always messy. And you're seeing so much of it because this box is massive. <laughs> this box was sent to me by the National Stationery Week um, PR people um, as a PR box to um, kind of like showcase the brands and things that are in this box and also you know like publicize national stationery week and celebrate everything national stationery and stationery and all that kind of stuff so i thought i'd do an unboxing because i only did sneak peeks on my channel so this box is um, a beautiful box and it's really really thick um like really really thick card so it's like a reusable reusable box and this box was by um Smith, G.F. Smith. But anywho, let's get in. Um, I'll just show you that because the bo box is really good. Beautiful, beautiful um, like gift box if you want to gift anything. I chipped my nails like opening <laughs> this. Um, so here we go. I have already had a look through it because I just couldn't help myself. I had to, you know, I just had to see what was inside. Um, so firstly, they sent me all of like the gubbings and everything, um, like talking about like National Stationery Week and everything. And they've got a, like quite a few hashtags really. So um, the main one is Nat Stat Week. So if you want to follow any posts around social media or anything, then um, that's the one to follow. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, I had a tickle. I always seem to get a tickle as soon as I want to start filming. Um, which is annoying. So yeah, just kind of like all the bump and stuff. And then it kind of tells you like um, which um, the different days of the week and everything. So Monday 23rd is make a note. So um, that's all about um, like... Mm, like notebooks and stuff <laughs> <coughs> i know um and then yeah hay fever's kicking in so i'm like sorry about that um so tuesday so the hashtag for monday is make a note tuesday um is pen and pencil hashtag for that is pen and pencil and that was sponsored by stadler um, monday was sponsored by um nuco wednesday is stationary the world over because it's a stationary show um day i'm not going this year but it's kind of cool thursday is hashtag work happy and that's sponsored by mustard friday is hashtag a place for everything that's sponsored by santoro saturday hashtag get crafty and that's sponsored by crafters companion and sunday is hashtag signature sunday and that is sponsored by um cross so yeah, and then there's like an A to Z of um, stationery, <laughs> which is really, really cool. So hopefully you can, can see that. I'll try and like um, photograph that and put it in the um, Mrs. Brimble's Happy Place on Facebook or um, share it on my Instagram so you can so you can see all of those and you can see the alphabet because it's kind of it's kind of cool. So there we go there's that so then on to everything else that's in the box um stationery matters magazine i actually get this magazine anyway because i um have been to the stationery show previously and um, i actually went to the very first stationery show um a few years ago and so i'm on the mailing list so i do get this um anyway but it was really nice to um get another one so it's stationary matters and it's um i don't know if you can like sign up for this magazine and um like get it if you're not a business in like a stationary business i don't know but this one is all obviously all about like the show and the traders that are going to be at the show and some of their products obviously like these trade shows this is where companies kind of release all their um you know all their like new products and everything so it's pretty cool you get like first look oh what's that watercolors there yeah the kurataki um 
watercolors mm, love those um yeah so it's like you know people want to like show off their new stuff so that's mainly what this issue, this issue is about is the show to be honest but um yeah it's really nice to have a little nosy i haven't had a chance to look through it yet i'm hoping to very soon i might actually save it for the weekend <laughs> Because I've actually got probably time to look at it at the weekend. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to go through this from top to bottom. Um, even though it's not necessarily in the right order. But I do have a list with me. So um, this is from Santoro. And this, you, most of you probably know um, this, this girl. Because um, they've been around for quite a while now and they're in most like boutique -y kind of stationery shops that kind of thing and garden centers um so yeah the gorgeous range and this um is an a4 like um wallet for like storing your papers and everything um so yeah it's just got a bit of cardboard in there at the moment so popping your papers in there um so yeah loose sheets of paper that kind of thing this is the um cityscape design um so yeah really really nice getting organized so this is a place for everything <laughs> kind of theme i'm gonna put that out of the way okay so this is a pretty cool <laughs> I do really, really like this. It's from Mustard and it's um, a highlighter pen and it's in the shape of a dinosaur. You know, it's, it is cool. <laughs> really, really cool. I love that. Yeah, so that's from um, Mustard and um, that's for Work Happy. So it's kind of about kind of, I suppose it's self-explanatory, work happy, just kind of like not taking the stuff too seriously and having some like fun elements to your stationery as well as like, you know, less fun. <laughs> um, these are a pack of Spectrum Noir metallic twin tip metallic markers um, in precious metals. So they are just, I've got gold, gold nugget, burnished copper, antique bronze, pewter and silver ing ingot, silver ingot. Um, it says these fabulous dual tip markers will cover beautifully for a perfectly smooth and highly reflective metallic finish. Their quality water-based inks are acid-free and archival. So that's really, really cool. Um, they, so I'm just trying to read this like really, really quickly. Um, oh, that so you can get two coordinating sex sets, either the rare mineral. Did I say sex? I think I said sex then. Sorry, set sir. Um, or rare minerals or precious metals. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to recover from that now. <laughs> um, and so this is for um Saturday get crafty. Any ideas what you think I should do? Let me know. It says that they um work best on like a dark surface so if you've got any art that you'd like to see me do with these or anything you want to see me do let me know because at the moment I'm drawing a little bit of a blank so challenge me guys challenge me <laughs> um oh God, just these are from Stadler um and they are the pigment liners um, I've got a 0.3 and a 0.5. What colour? Mm. Uh, does it say? Yeah. It says that they come in black. Oh, um, Statler Pigment Liner. The new coloured fine liners come in a choice of wits, 0 0.3 and 0.5, and have indelible waterproof ink. Awesome. So that's really good. So I'm looking forward to trying those. I've never really um, illustrated with a colour at all. So that will be good to try. Let's have a little look. My new insert from... Um, this is from um, Scurry and Peck. And it's just, I literally just picked it up because it's beside me. There you go. That's a really nice, like... So nice it looks brown on the tip but there it looks kind of like a grayish color so that'd be really really cool for um 
illustrating. So yeah, then that's for um, Tuesday's pen and pencil day. I don't know why I just picked up that insert because I have a notebook in here. This is by um, New. I do love New books. I've used them quite a few times in the past. This is their Spectrum range. It's a beautiful yellow colour. Um, I totally forgot to take this with me to, to Cam's Planet Con at the weekend, <laughs> which I should have done because this would have been right up Daisy Street. And Daisy got a PR box as well. And um, she is My Green Cow here on YouTube. And she got a hot pink and I should have taken it with me and we should have done a swap because I reckon Daisy would probably would have loved this colour. Um, not that I don't love it, it's just really up Daisy Street, I think. But um, yeah, so the new notebooks, they are really good quality books. Um, and this is a lined inside. And this is for Mondays, make a note. Um, yeah, so exciting. Um Another Santoro um, little clipboard. It's magnetic, so you can put it like on your fridge or something. Um, really nice um, like to-do list thing. I think this would be personally for me. I think this would be really, really good um, for me, like on working days to have by my computer and stuff, um, because it's got a massive like to-do list and a don't forget, like a highlight thing. Um, and that kind of thing so uh, it's got morning afternoon evening down here uh treat of the day <laughs> um so yeah and, and obviously a pen as well because there's gorgeous little things and i love the little bunny with the little girl that's so super cute so yeah i really like that um but yeah i can't really see myself putting it on my fridge although i know a lot of people probably use this kind of thing like that desk is where it's at for me um i think this one was for another santoro yep santoro again this is a like a pencil tin but i tend to um i tend to use i used to you know i used to use pencil tins like this all the time when i was at, at, at school um but i i haven't seen so many of them around lately um and um i really like them because they're really good for putting like watercolors in i don't tend to use tins well do you know i don't tend to use tins because i haven't really found any tins um, so I might actually put some of my pencils and pens in. Um, but they are really, really nice for like um, using a bit of blue tack and um, blue tacking your watercolours in. Um, but yeah, so they're, cause they're just the right sort of size really, but a really cute design. Like so, this is Poppy Loves. Uh, careful white bunny, said Poppy, don't look down. It's <laughs> really cute, right? Um... I can't remember what this was in. <laughs> I'm experiencing this again because I can't remember. Mom. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is a uh, like an advertising of some card and stuff from GF from GF Smith. I think this is like the like the range that you can get their writing materials and their card in that kind of thing. Um, they're not on my list, so yes. Oh, and, and last but not by any means least, because this is pretty imp impressive, I am a big fan of Cross. Um, John's dad, when John and I went, both went to university together and we both graduated at the same time and John's dad bought us matching his and hers um, Cross pen sets when we graduated. Um, it was a biro and a pencil in a, in a nice leather pouch thing. Um, sadly, uh, currently, I don't know. I, I had a couple of years ago, I was still using it. Um, but sadly, I don't know where it is at the moment. I think it's on a planner somewhere that I'm not currently using. Um, which is a bit sad and I'm upset with myself for losing it, to be honest. Um, so yeah, when I saw this, I was like, oh, baby. <laughs> um, so there's this beautiful, beautiful cross pen which is lovely and it's so nicely weighted as well. Um, what day was that for? Signature Sunday. This is the Bailey Black Lacquer, Bailey Black Lacquer ballpoint pen and red leather, red leather pouch. The Bailey ballpoint pen was designed with an eye for detail from its cap over barrel design and multi-grooved chrome center ring with patterned engravings to its sleek modern clip. 
The writing instrument is well balanced and features specially formulated cross ink that flows flawlessly for a superior writing experience. Presented in a gift box and covered by a lifetime mechanical guarantee. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I can't wait to kind of use that. And there's the pouch. It's got a, oh, it's got a cardboard in there. Why didn't I see that? Why didn't I see that? I probably... I think I think the pouches look absolutely gorgeous in a gift set but me personally I probably wouldn't use that I know some people like if they've got a um, if they're not planner people but they just want a pen in their bag or briefcase or something then that's perfect it, and, and stuff but my pens they always go on the pen loop of my planner so I personally don't tend to use these little pouches but it is a very beautiful pouch, I must say. So yeah, that is everything that they sent me. And I'm sure you'll agree that I was very spoiled. Um, very, very spoiled indeed. And I'm really looking forward to like sharing some more photos and stuff of um, these products. So I hope you enjoyed watching and, you know, check out all of like the... Um, posts that are going to be going on from various bloggers over the next week i'm sure i'm sure there'll be some absolutely gorgeous things going on that you can feast your eyes on so thanks for watching guys bye